there's nothing quite the same. More than 11,000 fans watched Peter Carey, who had seeked and not gained a clearance to play in Victoria, lead Glenelg out onto the ground to record his 250th game for the Tigers. In a fierce clash, Glenelg finished too well for Nord and won by 19 points. The way it goes, Carey's kick towards Kernahan. Oh, up high, Kernahan. Turbull chips out the pass. Rocky Roberts, oh, he pushed him in the back. The Bay's going to attack again. Not a good kick by Marshall. Kernahan, Sewer, Sewer, 40 metres out. And he's and battles it. Oh, what a goal! Brilliantly done, Glenelg. Kernahan picks it up. The kick's not well directed. Sewer comes through. Corns is there. Sewer does it beautifully. Gets it out to Painter. He really misses. And he doesn't let the home side down. Palmer searching for it too. Tom Warhurst, Gallagher. The legs into attack again. A long one up towards full forward. Over the top of by Mark Michelani. Runs it over to Sewer. In turn, Weston too far. A shocking handball. And Teal barges his way to through. Can't get through. Winter to the outer side. Corns! Oh, what a magnificent mark. As he kicks it high towards the half forward line where Aiden Grace takes it well. Over to brother Michael. 40 metres out. He steadies. Puts it in high. I think it's straight. It's a goal. Kernahan in front. Cleverly back. Comes out to Western. In turn, McDermott. Smothered well off the boot. Corns. Marshall wants it. Corns hooks. High going straight. Goal! Beautifully done, Graham Corns. And do you think he's very excited about the whole event? To round five, and more than 42,000 attended the five games, and for those that went to Glenelg, they got their money's worth. Sturt came from eight goals behind in the second term, before thrilling their supporters by kicking 22 goals to five in the final two and a half quarters and winning going away. Eddie Fry led the charge with eight from centre-half forward and Peter Motley got an early chance when Stephen Parker was injured and made an impression in his league debut. Davies to Howard. Howard to Craig. Went without it. Back to Radbone by Howard. Left foot by Radbone. Hollis, Coleman, Spill. Graham will kick a goal. It starts first. Handball short to Derrington. Derrington back to Eddie Fry, but it's intercepted beautifully by Holst. Derrington recovers. Tries to find Fry again. Off hands. Fry takes possession. Full points. McFarlane. Craig. McFarlane uses a body. Craig's balance was excellent. Left foot by Craig. High. Wilson's got to go with oh, Marshall. And Marshall did it well. Davies will set himself with Coleman. Davies, a magnificent mark. Kerry won it. Weston threw it over the back. Sewer missed with a handball. Wilson tapped it on. Oh, cleverly done, Pape. Filky couldn't take it. Spill. Filky's handball to Derrington. Sturt is starting to win it. Craig to Radbone. The double blues go forward. Davies and Corbett is going again. Davies and Kerry. Fry comes in. Kicks it high. Kirby. He's got it. That's his sixth, I reckon. Left foot. Hollis will take a run at it. Magnificent mark. Tate's kick to Vader and Davies. Davies from the back. Superb mark to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer can steady from centre half forward. He's got it. Pfeiffer second. Doofy's quick kick to McFarlane. Well done, Motley. Beautiful tackle by Motley. Derrington will use him. Motley can have a shot for goal. Over the top to Hollis. Hollis can kick a goal. Hollis has kicked the goal. Magnificent football. Sunday, May the 9th, was Mother's Day. It was also an historic day for South Australian football in Channel 7. The Glenelg Torrens game was televised live, the Tigers winning by eight goals six, and Robert Muir was a surprise inclusion for the Eagles. Great position, the Torrens pass sat upon. Actually, he played that well. He almost tunnelled Sewer. A mammoth kick by Coleman. Western in front of Great Mark Hanna. Glenelg inflicted the fifth defeat in a row for North in a one-sided second half game at Football Park. West LA won their fifth straight and in doing so kicked an all-time record of 36 goals 21 for the club. West went in against Glenelg with great winning form behind them. But the Bloods were blasted off the Bay Oval. Glenelg turned on their best and in one of the few performances each season that are impossible to predict, won by more than 20 goals. And so West one week scored 36, the next had 32 kicked against them. They avenged their first round loss to Glenelg by kicking straight and winning at the parade. Greg Turbull, soon to be Nord's captain courageous, played his 100th game after eight seasons. 
The Bays barely need a goal. In fact, two or three quickly towards centre wing. Carey sets himself in front. The mark is a good one. Doesn't get a chance to get out. He's letting him play on. Umpire Foster said he read to get out a handball. Controversial. Turbo. Goal four. Oh, Peter Barker. Warhurst furthers it to Roberts. Oh, great work, Roberts. Brilliant football over the top to Lachlan. He won't miss this one. Great work, Roberts. He's been a star today. To round 11, the round was played on a wet Monday and a number of personal milestones were reached. Graham Corns became the first and only Glenelg player to date to play 300 league games. In round 13, Port easily won at Alberton against Glenelg to move to second. And on the Sunday, the underdog Nord found form. In the day's big clash, Sturt and Glenelg provided a thrilling contest with a goal-for-goal goal game before Sturt's edge clear in the last 10 minutes to stay at the top. Tony Pfeiffer, drop punt, Davies and Coleman. Coleman got the front, Davies took it off him. Drop punt, beautiful kick. Sewer almost made a valiant attempt, spill, almost a rad bone. Carey using his body, oh, played a great footy. third quarter to Hyde. Hyde's got Sewer short, goes longer. Back by McDermott. McDermott, the pressure's on. Drop punt is a good one. It's made it, I think. No touch. Goal. Oh, Michael Graham's not happy. Corns. McGuinness will get run down again. Now Sturter in. Zoom with a long one to the goal front. Getting set. Davies. Oh. Great mark. That is unbelievable. Coleman's miss kick. Graham's got the chance. Corns will try and run him down. Graham back toward Howard. Howard flat footed. Got Pate running. Pate can seal it, I think. He's got some Pate pace. Pate 20 metres out. He's got it. I don't think they'll ever get back now. Spill. Indecision by Sturt players. Radbone with one arm hurled. Takes it in the right hand. That is class football. And he kicks the ball over half forward to Davies again. Big fellow with one hand. Gives a short one to Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer, full face of goal. Painter from the pocket. There's ten minutes to go yet, Bruce. Short, the West coming out. McGuinness, he'll kick this one. McGuinness has got his first. Spuel sets himself. Carey, magnificent mark at the back. Subrinic following the ball on the ground. Shoots out a handball to Hollis. Hollis going all the way. Here's the kick. Derrington from, is at the back. And it's a magnificent mark by Daryl Smith. Over the top of Brendan Howard towards Daryl Smith. Howard takes it, taps it on to Smith. Getting his second kick. Drives for the goal square. Davies and Coleman, body on body. Davies takes the mark. Simons, kick four. Not Simons, that's Duthie. That's a great trap. Now Simons. Couldn't take that one. Mousley, Pake, Hollis. Left foot shot's going to go straight through. What a goal by Hollis. Great way to finish it for Sturt. Central Districts won their fifth straight match in round 20 in one of the season's amazing performances. In a staggering result, the Bulldogs crushed Glenelg at Brighton Road by 17 goals 7. Greg Edwards, who earlier in the year had kicked 11 at Elizabeth against the Tigers, scored 10. Central's win, coupled with West's loss at Alberton, meant that only one game and 0.2 of a percent separated the two teams. Nord jumped back to third, and the top three were Port Sturt Nord, with Glenelg appearing safe despite their humiliating defeat in fourth spot. Here with him is Coleman. Coleman in front spot. Right. Oh, what a fine mark. Platten again. What a great player he is. Trick couldn't handle a handball. Platten backs it up. Oh, he's got a ton of pace. Kernahan can't run him down. He kicked his boot off. Oh, he's taken it. Maynard, Platten working hard for the ball. Big Moore in there helping him. Kernahan, Platten. Rusiak over the half forward line. Michael Wright, 10 metres out. Over in the square is Edwards. Goal number 11. Oh, what a soda. Port were much too good for Glenelg before 18,000 at Football Park. Sturt's Rick Davies scored 10 against Woodville in what was Jack Odie's last game at Unley as coach. And so Port finished minor premiers. Nord won nine out of their last ten to finish second. Sturt struggled winning three out of their last eight games but held on to the double chance. Glenelg made it into the finals by way of Weston's freak goal against Nord. 
Central's won seven straight to edge out West, who were in the five since round five. North won ten and looked the big improvers. South's coach Hayden Button finished on a winning note after a disappointing season. And Torrens with five wins and Woodville with just one were never going to play a part in the major rounds. I'll tell you something great It will make you feel so proud About football in South Australia You can shout it out real loud 